What's going on guys, welcome back, do another video, and this one, I'm going to be sure to make the interior for your CVS Pharmacy. Um, I don't know what else to say other than, yeah, I actually made it. I wasn't think I didn't think I was going to make it when I got home from school, I was like, oh, I gotta do that, but uh, I decided to anyways, and uh, had a pretty good time with it. I will say, I do like the old pharmacy interior better, um, and I do ha I did have a minor flaw or two with this one, which I will talk about later. But nothing too big or game changing. But yeah, with that being said, enjoy the tutorial and I will catch you on the flip side. Alrighty, so the space you're going to need with this is well, you don't need any space. All you need is your CVS pharmacy from the other day. Um, or whenever you built it, I don't know when. But what you do need are some materials, and those to start off are going to be block of quartz, smooth quartz slabs. It's very quartzy build. Glowstone. Sandstone. Brick blocks. Birch doors. Spruce door. And we'll go with gray concrete. You do have an extra inventory spot if you want to do night vision or whatever. I'm just gonna... I think that's all that you need. Yeah. I'm gonna just do slash effect at s night vision, uh, sure, for just that amount of time, whatever. Um, gave night vision one, but it's night vision two, clickbait. Alright, come inside your CVS, and the first thing that you want to do is break your entire grass floor and replace it with block of quartz. I'm gonna command this one, although we're gonna have a weird, like, thing, so I'm gonna do it here, I think. I think that's where I want it, yeah. Because I'm just going to do that last row manually because it's kind of weird with the doors. But I'm going uh, to command it. That's, I guess, what I said. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. As we do this, hopefully everyone is having a good day or night. I am for the most part. Um, what's nice about this one, too, is you don't have to actually break under the doors if you're doing it by hand. Because the doors are in a spot where it's already outside. So it's like, whatever. Is that three... Two or three three. Okay, it's three three three. I don't know if you could see that, but that was like having a seizure on my screen. Like it I did not want seventeen, but okay. But it was like being really weird. I don't know if you saw that. Three five seven and then the other coordinate. That's not a Q, it's still not a Q. Uh dead not a spa I am having troubles over here. It's a lot of threes, I just realized. That's kind of weird. And then, is it just quartz or is it quartz block? Or something else? It's quartz block. Okay. Slowly but sure. Oh my goodness. Stop putting spaces everywhere. Alright, just like that. Uh, that is very, very bright. Um. Now what you want to do is you want to... Or I guess I should probably fill in this little strip first. You can just fill in the strip. Or you might have already done it with the command. I mean, you could go under the door. I just don't think that you have to because it doesn't really do much for you. It's because then you might as well just square it off, but that's not important. If you want to add the ceiling, as always, you can. Uh, the only thing you need to do is add another row of brick here at this front front section, sorry. And then, um, that'll be your I better not get the hiccups. That never happens during videos, I've noticed. That seems to be like a thing that just doesn't happen I get them all what I when I always get them is right before I actually like go to bed because that's the worst time and that's when I always seem to get them for some reason moving on that's not relevant so what you want to do is you want to come to the back right hand corner of your build I'm gonna have to remember this okay so I have it written down but I have the directions flipped and I gotta remember the directions so from this back right hand corner what you want to do is you want to count left by five should be on the quartz, by the way. And going forward, you want to place a sandstone. Birch door. Three sandstone. Birch door, and then two sandstone. That furthest front sandstone wants to connect right, and then your row of three, the middle block of that wants to also connect right. So it should be two five by threes or three by fives, however you want to say that. Now you want to come to the back right-hand corner again, except this time you're going to be... How do I explain that? 
I don't know how to explain things, but essentially you're going to be outside the bathroom. So pretend like the bathrooms are a slice out of your build. And what you want to do from this block is you want to count left by nine. And moving forward, you want to place two sandstone. I put bricks down, I just realized. These notes, I don't know what I was doing when I took these note sheets, but they are completely wrong. Uh, you don't want to place a spruce door. Two sandstone. And then go right with two sandstone. And then the middle sandstone, that row three, you want to connect all the way to the front of your build with gray concrete. But, like, let me just, let me just point this out. I have my, so I have that as the back left-hand corner. That's what I'm marking that as, not the back right. So the build would be oriented like this. Which, okay, that's not bad, but I put brick instead of sandstone down. I put it, it's sandstone, you you saw it, it's sandstone in the original build, but on my notes, I, I have it as brick. I don't know if that's... Moving on, what you want to do now is on top of each sandstone, you want to place four brick blocks, and then above each door, you can place three. And then your gray concrete, just leave as gray concrete, because uh, it's special, and it... It's gonna stay special. I don't know. Is it? We'll see. I know exactly what we're gonna do with it, but <laughs> I'll just pretend like for the purposes of this video that I actually don't. Hmm, what's the next? <laughs> just turn this into like an action movie or something. I don't know. So, uh, yeah, I did actually end up doing this, which is fun. I gotta do more interiors. Interiors are nice. I don't like, I don't like doing them, fun fact. <laughs> Alright, so, above your gray concrete, I don't remember the numbers, so let me see if I, I probably didn't. No, I do, okay. You want to take the top two rows of brick blocks of this three thick wall, each one of them, and you want to bring each of these top, each of the top th in this three by two, four, all the way to the front of your build with brick blocks. I had... Could, I had could not say that very well. You don't have to bring the top middle one technically, but I'm gonna do it anyway just for fun. But uh, it should give you something like this. The three thick isn't really necessary. You could only do one or two or zero if you wanted to, I guess. You could actually do zero. You could just connect your ceilings. But I like this because it kind of I don't know. It just makes it feel more like secure. And you're you're gonna notice uh, Chick Fil A it was the first time I did this, but I'm starting to like have the Counter is kind of a different color and embedded a block. I think it looks a lot better that way. Just a little bit more fancy. But, uh, yeah. So, you can do your ceilings now. So, I have no idea where that ceiling is, but I know. Actually, no. Uh, this little front area brick block, what I was saying earlier, is you want to bring up with an additional brick block. It's actually one more thing. You can't start on your ceiling, but it's, uh, kind of like a thing. So, you should look like this. But, you want to take the rows d just inside the window so just towards the corner of these like seven seven by two windows yeah seven by two and you want to bring the row sandstone brick block all the way up just like this so it's gonna do this and then i would also bring the brick blocks kind of above the glass out by one so it should look like this it's weird because i would have brought them in it in an additional row but then you see you have that and that's not very fit so that looks fine in my opinion. If you don't like it though, you can mess with it. But I would, well, actually, I was going to say make sure you know what your line is, but you have this as your reference. So from the back right hand corner, what I would do of this this room, the, the, the left room, hang on, the back right hand corner of the left room, if that makes sense, the uh, more like rectangular one that doesn't have any other rooms in it. Uh, but what you want to do is you want to place two rows of opposite on smooth core subs along the right and two along the back along the ceiling level, which your ceiling should be, I think, four and a half blocks tall. Yeah, that's correct. You can also place two at the left and two at the front. Although, be careful with the, uh, what was I saying? Hang on. Yeah, be careful with your door area because that is not going to play in the same way. You'll see what I mean later. And you can place a glowstone in each of your three corners now. I know that's not how math works, but, uh, I mean, it could be, I guess, triangles. But this corner is, ironically, kind of like a triangle, although this is more like a trapezoid, I think. No. Uh, hex- not hexagon. Pentagon. There we go. 
with the weird thing there. So I, you can place, can you place one in that corner? I actually have no idea. Okay, so that's what, that's interesting. You can. I don't have one in the corner. I don't know what I did differently. I don't think I brought back, brought out the brick blocks. I'm sorry, on the uh, old one. Let me see. Cool, that doesn't help at all. Uh, but I don't think I brought these two out. So I think it was like that. Mm, I think I like it better with them brought out. I don't know if I like it either way, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, and then just placing, moving between them, or going towards each other, I guess. Two opposite on smooth court slabs, glowstone. Two opposite on smooth court slabs, glowstone. Two opposite on smooth court slabs, glowstone. You don't have to use glowstone, by the way. You can use sea lanterns or redstone lamps or whatever, and you do want to continue that pattern going all the way around on all sides. And then that's going to give you your light pattern, which is a lot of twos and ones, basically. Um, if you've built any of mine before, just go ahead and do the rest of it, because you should know how this goes. It's pretty self-explanatory, I think. And then you're going to want to place two rows of upside down smooth quartz slabs on all sides. If you're having troubles, you could do, like, two, like this, kind of, like, do two sides at once and then do the other two. Or just figure out, okay, so, this is a light, this too, so that was done. And then this side, no, there's only one there, so let's continue that. And then also, if you stand in the corner and you're gonna, you, if you look like, if you stand in the back left-hand corner and you look back, it's gonna be a glowstone. If you look straight to your left, it's gonna be another glowstone. That's a dumber way to do it, but yeah. And then same thing, glowstone in each corner and then connect them together with your patterns, which is just gonna be the same pattern, just less of, less of. Is that like proper grammar, less of, just saying less of? I don't know. I don't pay attention. I mean, sometimes I do, but like 40, that's a low percentage. Never. That's not even that low. Unless you're talking about a test, then that's different. But like, like 71.3% of the time, I'm not paying attention and I'm just zoning out thinking about something, which probably isn't important. And then you won't after you do it that second time, you're just gonna be left with two strips of glowstone. So that one's pretty easy. And then your strip of ups and smooth quartz slabs in the center. And then if you wanna do this on the other ones, you can. Um or the other rooms I should say. Just worth noting that in this room here, I would do it from the front left hand corner and I'd place like never mind, I'd place two rows of ups and smooth quartz slabs at the front only. And then just do your pattern going left to right. So it's gonna start with a glowstone, then two ups down smooth quartz slabs, glowstone, two ups down smooth quartz slabs, glowstone, two ups down smooth quartz slabs, glowstone, two ups down smooth quartz slabs, and a glowstone. And just like that. And then place two rows of ups down smooth quartz slabs going backward. And you should know how your pattern works at this point. If not, then you can change it to be the same as the other side. It's not gonna work out the same. I'm just gonna say that. I would have made it the same if it works out the same. With these patterns, it's always going to work out. You can, you're going to be able to 100% of the time if you have a per, like a square or a rectangle or something. If you don't have angled edges, it's going to always work out. Now, how it's going to work out is going to be different each time, but you can always find a center. Whether it's like perfectly like center though, because like you can see two rows and then none. But this one worked out nicely with the two on all four corners. And, uh, yeah. How long is the night vision for? I, I timed that really well. The 1,000 seconds just seems to work for some reason. <laughs> it's just the perfect timing for whatever mischief we're doing over here. I don't really know. Perfect for lights and... I was gonna say sound, but this isn't a drama place, so no. I mean, I guess... Could be. And then you, you are going to have this unfortunateness here. Which, again, if you don't, if it's not a perfect square, then it might not work out. And then for the bathrooms, it's just one door in the direct center. So it's going to be opposite on smooth quartz slabs on all four sides. And then it's going to frick. <laughs> That's going to leave you with a three block gap. And then you can just place an opposite on smooth quartz slab at the left and right. And then a glowstone in the center. And then same in the other one. Although you should probably not trap yourself in this. I mean, you could. You do have room for more, actually, if you wanted to add a second floor. Although, it'd be very, very tight. I got storage here or something, I don't know. 
Uh, also, something I am now realizing, which is kind of an issue. So, okay. If you don't know what a pharmacy is, uh, I hope you do, but essentially, obviously, they have medicines and stuff. I don't have a spot for medicines and this that need to be refrigerated, which is a thing that I know is, I know they are a thing. So, I mean, again, I was talking about space. You could just make space. Uh, as I was talking about in a shopping center, you could, if you have, let's say, I don't know, like a Walmart next to it or something that you can push back, I would recommend doing that and just giving you a little bit more space. Or you could remove the bathrooms and say, oh, well, or remove one of them. I wouldn't remove both. I don't think it's legal to have no bathrooms in a um, public facility. Now, that is different. What was I gonna, hang on, what was I saying? Now that is, they don't have to be accessible to the public, but I'm pretty sure every single public place has to have a bathroom. And then if it's dining, then I'm pretty sure it has to be pub publicly accessible. And there could probably be different ones, I don't know. I don't know how it works. I've never worked anywhere, um, at least not yet. So uh, uh, that'll be fun in 2022, probably, if I actually get a job, unless the... Unless I try and work for someone, like, no, you should not work here. And I'll be like, oh, okay. Anyways, come to the back left-hand corner of your build now, and we're going to keep doing things with our current inventory until we run out, which is going to be fair, fair, fairy? Hello. Fair, f what, fairy? Going to be very soon. What you want to do from this back left-hand corner is you want to count right by, what is it, number three, and then forward by one and going forward, you want to place seven gray concrete. And then connect left. Um, what is this? Hang on. I, my brain is not, like, function. I, I'm running on, like, no sleep at all. But that's, it's not important. Um, this is like a small little counter. Uh, CVS, at least my CVS has two counters. There's the one where the prescription stuff is. And then one at, like, the front. So, like, I don't know. If you're buying, like... Uh, combos, does, does CVS have combos? Is that only a gas, that's probably only a gas station thing. I don't know, if you're buying, uh, I know they sometimes have decorations and stuff, if you're buying something like that, this is probably what this counter is for, or candy, I know they have candy. <laughs> that's the one thing that I'm like, yep, they have that. <laughs> Alright, but now, once you're done that, you can clear your inventory and get out. Stone stairs. I don't know why I said that really weird. Stone blocks, stone slabs, oh yo, stone brick stairs, more stone, uh, can I think of any more stone? No, I can't, uh, that's unfortunate, uh, smooth quartz blocks, it's gonna be all white and gray apparently, smooth quartz stairs, birch trap doors, We'll go lever and, I guess, cauldron. Uh, you also need more than that, but I can't think of everything. Uh, hang on, let me see. Ooh, that really, like, messed with me. I don't know why, but that messed with my brain really hard. The, the lighting change from the night vision? Moving on. You need composter, oak trap door, um... Is that it? Dark oak signs, uh, white dye or bone meal, whichever you prefer, and glowing sec, which... Those aren't necessary, but I did them anyways. And I think that's everything. So on each gray concrete counter facing towards the inside, I just want to place a few stone brick stairs. I placed two on this one like that. I actually placed them closer together, but whatever. And then on this one, you can do like two away from the front and then have them four blocks away from each other. It doesn't, not going to work out perfectly. So let me try three blocks away from each other, actually. That is a three. Yeah, that is three. Okay, three blocks away from each other and two blocks away from either wall works perfectly. Four, five. Yes, I can count. Just like that. Uh, what do we want? Okay, I'm gonna start with the bathrooms. Come into either uh, door, either room that has a birch door. These lower rooms, and you want to place in the back center smooth quartz block. Bring it forward with an upside down smooth quartz stair. Up with a birch trap door. Back with a smooth quartz block. Left with a lever. Shut up, Discord. 
Or bring that top block left with a lever. And then in, we'll say, second block back on the right wall. Just place a cauldron with a lever uh, above it, powered on. I actually give you this. And I do the same in the other room. I'm not going to narrate it this time, because, uh, I don't know. I got distracted by Discord. That's not why I didn't narrate it the second time. That's why I kind of stuttered the first time and got confused. It's so weird, though. I can, I can for some reason, like zone out yet still completely explain what I'm doing flawlessly <laughs> I don't know how I do it but it's just it's, it's really weird alrighty once we've done that uh, now we're gonna do these stone shells but I'm gonna take a small cut because I can that's why okie dokie um, so how, are the, how does one work okay you want to place well first we should probably find a position I'm going the wrong am I going the wrong way hang on I am. I have way more photos than I thought I did. Moving on. You want to place, um, I guess kind of like moving towards the inside of your build below each, uh, black stained glass pane just a stone stair. And then when either you hit the last one or one more out, I did one more out. You just want to place an offset on stone stair curled facing, facing towards all those essentially and towards the doors. All the other ones should be facing towards kind of like a center point, which doesn't actually exist. So what you want to do now is I don't know how this number I don't know where this number is going to work out. You can come basically into this uh, block of quartz that's like kind of in the doors, basically the one that's under this black glass. I just want to count back diagonally to the right by what like we'll say three to start. Wait, hang on. One, two, three. Go four, five. Sorry, five. And place a stone block. Bring it right by five. Or sorry, right by four, not five. And then you want to leave a six block gap moving backward from that. And you want to place another row of five directly in line. You then want to come to the second, uh, so you want to come to the second stone block to the left. So from the right side, you want to come to the far right one and count left one. Essentially, and you want to leave a six block gap moving back. And you want to place a stone block and bring it right by four. So you have three little, like, stone block things. Two of them should be in line, the other should be shifted. That's because of that counter, which you could move the counter, I guess. I don't know. And then what you want to do is you want to bring each stone block thingy up with two stone blocks per stone block and then a stone slab. So up by a total of two and a half stone blocks. I would have used smooth quartz for these, but um, the floor would disagree with that. I know it's like really, really late for me to say this, but for future builds, uh, yeah, I did this in my old build, builds, but I stopped because it's kind of expensive, first off. Especially if you're in survival and it's just kind of a dumb floor. But I used to use block of iron. Uh, sorry, block of iron and smooth quartz do contrast enough, so if you wanted to do that, you can. Uh, I wouldn't advise it, but... You then want to wrap your stone blocks in upside down stone stairs, not stone brick. Just like this, if it'll work properly. Just like this, and then we got three of them to do it too. And we're going to have one later on, but that's not important. Yeah, this hasn't been too bad of an inside. Yeah, I should probably do the last one. I think that'd be smart. The reason I was getting the numbers confused earlier is because this is a total of seven and I can't do math. And then you'll notice that the way it wraps around, I didn't know the numbers. <laughs> so I just kind of had to like guess around with it. But yeah, that's, that's why I was having troubles at the front and also with the total number. But once I got it down for one, I could just use it again for the rest. So yeah, just like that. There's your shelves. If you don't like that shelf design, uh, you could try slabs instead of stairs. And then if you don't like that, then I don't really know. But <laughs> very helpful. Uh, what was I going to... You could also replace the corners with stone blocks. That's a possible or a thought or something like that. I don't really know. Okay, so along the back... You want to place along this, the, in the 
back right hand corner of you're still in your main room the back right hand corner of this room and you just want to place a couple of stone stone stairs along the wall i place three i think yeah and then you can just bring each stone st or each of those left with upside down stone stairs facing forward just for a certain amount so you're like so you've got like a little bit of distance between those and then you want to place another set of upside down stone stairs facing right so into those that'll give you move shelf that'll give you this shelf design <laughs> Nah, I bumped the mic, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. So, now what you can do is you can come into your right room, which is this room, and along the back wall and the right wall, you just want to place, instantly start up with ups, down, stone stairs lining those walls. The, um, far frick. That's a first. Not really. But, um... There goes my train of thought again. Okay. But yeah, just this little right wall and then this tinier back well, that's not very little, and this tiny back wall. Which you could change one of these into the freezers and stuff. Like, if you... Okay, let's say you have, um... Let's say this is a shopping center, you got, like, Walmart, and then you got something behind it. If you have an employees-only area in the back, which you probably should, you could just take out, like, a few rows of that and then have that actually ingrained into the wall. I think that'd be a smart way to go about that and have those as freezers. Because, um, those are important. Or you could just pretend like these are freezers or something. I don't know. Or even, like, close it off or something. You could. There's there's ways to figure it out. Or you could turn... Oh, sorry. You could turn one of the bathrooms into a freezer. And maybe even make it a little larger. Because you probably need more than that. For a town. Unless you're a weird town and you have two pharmacies next to each other. I feel like I have another pharmacy. No. I Wait. What? I feel like I do. Oh, no, yeah, we do. We have two pharmacies that are close to each other. One isn't a main, mainly a pharmacy, but whatever. Um, moving on. What you want to do is you want to leave about, like, a five-ish block. Actually, I think I did four block gap from that. And just place a row of stone stairs that line basically goes until it's four blocks away from the left and the right walls. It should be a total of, I think, ten. And then you want to bring it up with two rows of stone and then a row of stone slabs. You then want to wrap your stone blocks with opposite on stone stairs yet again. And then you still do have a little good, a little good big amount of space here to uh, add something else if you want it. That, I think that is a first. A li what, what did I even say? Little bit big? Is that what I said? Little Big Planet confirmed. I haven't played Little Big Planet in a while. I should play it again. Completely unrelated, but also sort of related. Just like that. And then you also have space here for whatever. So you could bring that out more, I guess. But I have space here because uh, sometimes the lines are long. Because I don't know. I don't know why. But then, what you want to do is clear inventory one more time and don't get out daylight. Don't throw daylight sensors on the floor. That's not going to, like, get you anywhere. But you want to get out composters or composter. I don't know how you say it. I'm going to just say composters. Uh, oak trap doors. Uh, what else? There's, like, a few more. Dark oak signs. Glowing sacks and bone meal or white dye, whichever is easier for you to access. Come into either bathroom and in the front left hand corner place a compost with an oak trap door on top. Then above each door you want to place signs, one saying women. Dark oak sign, one saying women, one saying men. I, oh no, I did hit the, I thought I hit the wrong one. Oh, that's not right. And the other saying men. And then you want to left click with a glowing sack. And then if you like that, you can leave it as X. I do kind of like that. Or bone meal. Pick or choose. I think I like it, which is the glowing sack better, but the bone meal is more accurate. Or the white dye, whichever you want to call it. Now, this next part doesn't really have, like, specific spots, but it's, like, just, like, somewhere, like, roughly in this build. Uh, I mean, I'd, I'd hope so. You want to place a compost with an oak trap door on top. You can place a few around. Just to kind of be, like, I don't know, trash cans, because you need those in stores. Place one maybe behind this counter. I placed... One in this area, I don't know if they're like wrapped up in bags them or they wouldn't throw away bags, they'd give you whatever. Uh, one by the door to leave this area, one in this area, and maybe one by the um, window, one of the window 
counter things, whatever you want to call them. But, um, yeah, once you've done that, I believe, ladies and gentlemen, that is your CVS Pharmacy Interior Complete. That's a weird one. I don't know why. That just feels really weird to say. Made an old pharmacy with an interior, and now I made a good one with an interior. Well, not that the old one was bad. I actually think I like that interior a little bit better, not gonna lie. That one was a story. That's a board now. But yeah, thank you so much if you guys did enjoy this video. Have a fantastic day, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.